ATAF launched in 2009 I set out to build capable uh, revenue capabilities in Africa. The idea is uh, to build sufficient capability in Africa's revenue administration in order to increase its collection uh, from the economic proceeds. The broader concept of domestic resource mobilization and in particular revenue mobilization is essential if Africa aims to fund its own development. Uh, the broad aim is to increase the tax to GDP ratio on the continent uh, from an average of around 18% uh, 10 years ago to around 22% today. In recent times, uh, Africa's tax to GDP ratio has reached a peak of 31% uh, percent in 2010. It is now hovering around 26%. But uh, that varies uh, mainly resource-rich countries have a, a distortion in that uh, that single source increases its, uh, its tax to GDP ratio but it's not a reflection of the wide inequality. And so our job in ATA is to bring some form of consistency into the revenue collection ability of African countries and we do so by offering a range of technical training uh, technical assistance, research and development, uh, and then leadership and management support uh, to tax administrations in Africa. I think a key place to start, and that is what we are doing, is the sharing of best practice uh, amongst African countries. Uh, the extraction of natural resources is part of Africa's colonial history except that there's never been a culture of sharing uh, tax practices in, in the extractive industries, share experiences with contracts, share experience with natural resource taxation, but in particular sharing the type of uh, expertise uh, that various countries use uh, to try and understand exactly how to sustainably uh, seek rent from uh, extractive industry. And in that regard, ATAF uh, is involved in some research uh, on re uh, uh, natural resource taxation. It was the main theme of the ATAF annual conference in Zimbabwe last year where uh, 27 of our member countries shared their experience from dealing with the environmental impact uh, of natural resource taxation to the problems relating to beneficiation and the fact that the contracts and the tax structures are often made by politicians and industry and by the time the policy makers, the tax administration and the tax policy people get to look at the impact, feel the impact of, of, the, of those contracts, uh, you have signed away a lot of revenue uh, through ill-conceived in, uh, uh, incentives. So the work that we do is to share uh, a range of, of experiences amongst countries, one. Uh, two, we are establishing what is generally known as communities of practice around specific areas of extractive industries, uh, oil, uh, uh, mining, etc. Um, and also we, are, we have built in some other mechanisms. For example, ATAP has finalized a mutual administrative assistance agreement for African countries which once it is signed will give those countries who are signatories to this agreement access to the actual tax information of multinationals in the extractive industries or in any other field and also will allow revenue authorities from various jurisdictions to actually share tax officials to work on specific tax cases. It provides that legal instrument. So ATA has made that possible we also obviously work with, uh, starting to work with regional economic communities to try and get some harmonization into double taxation agreements and encouraging the renegotiations of unbalanced tax treaties. Mm -hmm. 
ATAF is pretty much the new kid on the block, uh, one, and two, unlike the regional economic communities which is directly plugged into political principles, ATAF is not. Um, and the fact that it's not has enabled it to be a lot more responsive, a lot more agile in dealing with the technical requirements of African countries because a lot of the support, the research um, and the work that we do do not directly require ministerial or presidential processes which often takes very, very long, uh, which is not the case for regional economic communities. So for example, it can take a regional economic community three to five years to sort out a model double taxation agreement. Eight have to two days to negotiate a mutual assistance agreement amongst 24 countries because of the nature of the technicality of the work. We are the new kid on the block and we're only starting to work with regional uh, economic communities uh, over the past two to three years and the strongest links we have is definitely with SADC, the Southern African Development Community. By nature it's close our head office of ATAP in Pretoria. Uh, we also have a very good relationship with the East African community, probably one of the better working regional economic communities at various levels of, uh, of economic activity, not only tax but certainly customs and regional economic policy integration, very strong, very cooperative in, in East Africa. And in fact, we are currently running an online program on tax treaty negotiations and we're doing this in association with the East African community. So there's a strong example. And then uh, we are starting to work with uh, the uh, ECOWAS, the Economic Community of West African States. Nigeria is a very strong member of, of ATEF, a founder member and member of the council. And through them we've been able to uh, also deal with issues around uh, transfer pricing and information exchange with, uh, with ECOWAS and lastly uh, we are starting to uh, give advice uh, to the uh, Association of Islamic uh, 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 States in, that has a large part of North African countries in it and they also doing some tax administration cooperation for Islamic states uh, and of course they've got a very special kind of tax collection because it includes uh, zakat, which is a, a religious form of Thai, uh, which is a very special format of taxation. We've been involved uh, with them in trying to help them establish uh, a tax administration secretariat and organization. Given our limited experience over the last five years, we actually have developed quite rapidly and gained consider considerable amount of experience uh, that, that other organiza regional organizations are drawing from. And we hope to build on that. Uh, the main thing is to get African states involved to increase their share of revenue collection, especially in the light of the fact that African share of the global economy has consistently increased over the past 10 years, will consistently increase over the next 10 years, and 40% um, of all new natural resource discoveries over the next 25 years will be in Africa. How ready are we? And that's our job.